President Trump addressed the nation earlier today. That was the first time, of course, since the Iranian missile strike last night on bases housing U.S. forces. Iran appears to be standing down, which is a good thing for all parties concerned and a very good thing for the world. The president said the missile strike caused only minimal damage. The attack, as we know, was in retaliation for a U.S. drone strike that killed a top Iranian general. The president also announced new economic sanctions against Iran. Political reporter Jack Fink is live for us in Dallas tonight with what local members of Congress are saying about the conflict. Jack. Well, Doug, both Republican Senator John Cornyn and Democratic Congressman Colin Allred agree with President Trump that Iran should never be allowed to develop a nuclear weapon, but they disagree over the president's order to kill the Iranian general and terrorist. Iran will never be allowed to have a nuclear weapon. After President Trump addressed the nation, Texas Senator John Cornyn applauded his policy and decision to kill Iran's top military commander. I'm confident that this administration's maximum pressure campaign, combined with our unparalleled military capabilities, as well as the president's decisive actions that have culminated in the airstrike last week, have prevented a much worse outcome. But President Trump's decision is being questioned and criticized by Democrats, including Congressman Colin Allred. Why have all these other administrations decided that it was not in the long-term strategic interest of the country to do that? Uh, and the answer is that the backlash from it uh, is worse than uh, the outcome uh, of if he were to stay on the battlefield. Major Tom Gibney, a retired U.S. Army major who was one of five people who planned the ground attacks in Desert Storm, said he's not surprised Iran's retaliation was measured. Because the Iranians knew that in a kinetic war, missile against missile, plane against plane, ship against ship, it would only last a couple hours. The president didn't indicate new strikes against Iran are imminent. Where the president was clear uh, that his evolving doctrine is to not retaliate unless there are human casualties. And Gibney says the most important thing now is to protect U.S. forces in the Middle East. Live in Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.